Let's fast forward to 46 years, 2022. Within that span, we've accomplished many firsts as Filipino Americans, such as Rear Admiral Eleanor Conception Mariano, who was the first Filipino to be promoted to Rear Admiral in 2000 and served as a White House physician. Captain Tim Bogarin was the first Filipino to command a Navy warship, the USS Saginaw, a landing tank ship in 1989. Captain Ron Ravello was the first Filipino to command a Navy aircraft carrier, the USS Abraham Lincoln, in 2014. Master Chief Marco Sabal was the seventh fleet to command Master Chief in 2007, and presumably the first of Filipino descent to be a command Master Chief at the fleet level. And just recently, Secretary of the Navy, Carlos Del Toro announced that a future destroyer will be named after Fireman Second Class Thomas Coro Trinidad, who was the first Filipino to receive the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions on board the U.S. in San Diego in 1915. It's representation like this that can make a difference in someone that has military aspirations. If I was more aware of this when I was young, it could make a difference to me. So when I say representation matters, it's not a political agenda. It's not a political narrative. It's a matter of influence. It's a matter of inspiration. It was refreshing to see a then Lieutenant Commander Keith Fernandez, who is now Captain Keith Fernandez, give daily briefs to see your leadership about his boat company's accomplishments during exercises in Korea. It's inspiring to witness a fellow Morris High School alumnus, also a Naval Academy grad and midshipman football standout, Captain Jeremy Deloda, motivate his sailors as a CEO of the U.S.'s John P. Murtha. It's inspiring to know that my close friends from high school did amazing things during their military service. And when I call out your name, please stand up. Like U.S. Navy retired Lieutenant Commander Chris Flores, who served as service warfare officer and naval gun liaison officer. U.S. Marine Corps retired Major Bobby Almendarez. Bobby served as an intel officer and was trained as a scout sniper leading recon teams into combat. U.S. Army retired Lieutenant Colonel Christian Estrelado, who's not here today. Um, he's, uh, he lives in Virginia. He wanted to make it out, but he told me that tickets were too expensive. <laughs> well, he served as a chief information officer for field hospitals throughout the world. Former U.S. Marine Corps Corporal Del Tapasio. Thank you. 